coming on here to redo a video. I had put, put up a video yesterday, but I, I uh, videoed it the wrong way. All right, so this is phase one, part one of my kitchen makeover. So the first phase, I'll tell you what we did and then I'll tell you what's coming next in the next couple of phases because we do things in phases because nobody wants to go in debt doing these projects. So the first thing is my son and my husband painted the whole kitchen. They did this right the week before Christmas uh, for me as a gift. And and they built this island out for me. It would have cost so much to have someone come in and do it. So they just did it themselves. My son is actually here with me. He um, They went to Home Depot and they just used two by fours and plywood, right? And I do want to, um, they also use railing, those poles, the legs. They got that from Home Depot as well. It's just in stock. So everything they got was in stock and they just went and used a Benjamin, Benjamin Moore uh, paint. Now, as far as this island, it is eight feet long. It was a half an island that we had in the middle of the island. It stopped way back here. You can see right there where it stopped. And they just extended it out. And it just makes more sense. Um, it gave us so much more room on either side. I'm trying to back up so you can see how much room we have now. On either side, we're able to spread food out eat there, have people gather around. We can set out a buffet. It's really good. Now, like I said, they use plywood for the top. So all we did was sand it down really well, paint it, sand down between the, the paint. I think they put like three or four coats on here and we sand down in between. And then he did about three coats of a polyurethane. And so it's really, really smooth and it wipes up really well. All right, so that's what he did there. That really made the biggest difference. Now, you can see that the lighting is kind of off, um, off-centered. And um, I'm sorry. You can see that the lighting is kind of off-centered right here in the house. And that's because when they did the house, they, they centered the lighting to the room and not the cabinets. So we have, I have plans to have a electrician come in and hang two pendants over this island, but they can't come in until after the after stay stay at home order that we're all on. So that'll be part of the next phase is to get my lighting hung up and reworked in here because it drives me crazy that being off like that. All right. And so, like I said, then they painted all the cabinets. They actually left the cabinets on the hinges and just painted with a Benjamin Moore white paint. And it took them about three days to do it. And so I really loved it. Of course, that automatically made my kitchen more bright. So the next phase, I need to get the doorknobs. When I do the lighting, I'm going to do the doorknobs. And, but I just can't decide if I want pulls or knobs. So you can leave down and let me know in the description which ones you think I should do. Or should I do both? Because I'm thinking about doing knobs up top and pulls on the bottom. I don't know. Um, so the paint's been going really good. Of course, when we took the tape off, we left the tape on too long. So there are some spots we got to go back and do some touch-up on. We just haven't been thinking about it. Um, whenever I do the countertop, my goal is to also do the backsplash. Because as you all know, I'm just using the pill and stick that you get from Target right now. So I do want to go with a subway towel, I think. But I might go like with a smaller subway towel and... Um, just to keep everything fresh and clean and cheap. <laughs> so what I did right now while I have these dark countertops is to pop everything else on it white to try to make everything look nice and fresh. So these are just regular containers you can get at Walmart. You can get that sign from World Market. I thought about painting them white, but I like the contrast of the cream, the off kind of antique white. Um, what I did here is... Just to kind of give this some height, I had a regular old cutting board that I wasn't using. I just painted it white with the same white I used on the island. I put a pariah thing on it just to protect it. And I just got those little knobs, put those little feet on it that I got from Hobby Lobby. So all this comes from Walmart, even the scoops. And then over here, I did the same thing. I, I like to corral things. So this is where I keep all of my seasonings and stuff. And um, my oil containers. This is actually another one of those glass crocs that you can get from Walmart. I just put my um, all my utensils in it. Um, but I, this marble tray I got from at home. And I really like those. They have a whole bunch of them. So they're always pretty much in stock. I just like to put a little flower over here just to bring a little greenery. And that's a wreath. And then inside of the wreath, I just stuck those lettuce heads. And that's a good tip, guys, to, let me show y'all, to, when you have a big base, 
like this is a big base. It would take a lot of flowers to fill this. That's so that it can smell good. I keep those in there. <laughs> smell good. Got it from Big Lots. Um, you actually can smell it in this corner. Um, so I put that wreath on there. And from afar, I mean, that would be pretty enough. And then, because that fills it up really quick. And then I just stick these lettuce heads inside. And that's just a quick little tip. Perfect for the kitchen, lettuce, kitchen, get it. But it's also a quick little tip to keep it, to fill up a big base really quickly. And I just have more um, Hobby Lobby flowers in there. Got out some spring paper towels. Actually, it's all the paper towels I could find. You know, that is like gold nowadays. Um, laid out some towels from Ross. I love these kind of towels. Um, then here's my coffee station, nice and clean and fresh, still enjoying my percolator. I am looking to get a new coffee maker. As KitchenAid has one I might get because it kind of looks like a mixer. But anyway, I just like how clean and fresh all that looks over there. And let me see. What else did I do in here? Oh, so look at these nice little Walmart towels that Walmart sells. I didn't know Walmart had such, these nice little towels. So I got that the other towel, like I said, from Ross. But Walmart honestly sells these really nice towels. You get the both of those. I mean, you get two for six bucks. So I don't. I thought that was pretty good. Now, so my kitchen was nice and white. It started looking flat. So I was like, okay, let me do something. So what I did was I painted my pantry wall white because, as you can see, like over there, most of the kitchen is gray. But I painted the pantry wall and above the cabinets white just to make it all really stand out. But it looked flat, so I said, let me go back in, and I painted the door black, and then I found that lamp at like a Goodwill, it was like 50 cents, I sprayed it black, and it says fresh baked pies, so that's really fun, I need to change the time in there, but, um, and then I was like, okay, it's still looking a little flat, so I was like, okay, well, I want to do the ship black look. But of course, on a budget, so I just use the Sharpie method, as you can see. <laughs> I do the Sharpie method. Now, up close, clearly you can tell, but far back, when you first look at it, you just come in. I mean, I think it looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. I love it. So, yeah, guys, that's my phase one. So, like I said, in the next phase, I will be changing the light over the sink and the light over my island. Um, and that's the next thing I'm doing along with the knobs. So I got all the rugs from Big Lots in case anyone wanted to know. Um, and they do still have them and I got them maybe a year ago, but they do still have them in all sizes. So this is my kitchen. I'm really happy with it. Oh yeah, I am also, these are just some cake stands that I have. As you all know, I like to make these little fake cakes. Like this is one of my cakes that I make. I have some videos on my fake cakes. I'm going to be doing some more videos on them, showing you how I make the silk flower one. Um, but, so I decided to put the cake stands out here because it's such a long island, but I didn't want it to be cluttered. I didn't want it to have to be something people have to move. But I am thinking about getting the uh, other cake stands. I just used the ones I had here. I happen to have these three. I'm either going to get two more like this glass one, or I'm gonna get like the diner, the traditional diner looking. Um, sorry for shaky, again, no production company, just me and a phone. But I'm going to get the kind of look like the diner cake stage, you know what I'm saying, like with the silver bottoms. I think those would be cute in here with my um, fake cakes that I use. This is fake as well. I think I might for spring change it out for donuts or um, I mean, I might make up some really cute spring cakes to put in here. All right, guys, so this is my kitchen, part one. I hope you all liked it. Uh, sorry if the lighting is crazy, but again, we're working with the sun, going in and out, and if it's shaky, sorry about that. A special thank you to my son and my husband, and stay tuned, and I hope everyone is staying safe, and I'll be back with a tour probably of my living room, my spring living room, because I did rearrange my furniture a bit, what else do we have to do, guys? We're staying at home. We're quarantined. So we have to work with what we have. All right. Love you guys.